Okay, hi guys. Welcome to Summerween day four. Y'all starting to feel tired? I'm starting to feel tired. I remember there was a week long readathon that Lala was vlogging, and she pointed out that like day four is when everyone starts to slowly dwindle down. And um, first of all, Lala never been wrong. Second of all, wasn't wrong here either. Here we are dwindling. So we are about to go out to get some candles from Bath and Body Works like I mentioned but also to look for a donut tin because I saw a TikTok which I will link down below because it has the recipe on it that made pumpkin donuts and we have everything that's on that list. So because of that first of all my spooky case. Yes I keep it on all year long. Yes Everyone that sees it comments on it. So I need vegetable oil, check. Eggs, check. Sugar, yeah. Pumpkin puree, sure. Pumpkin spice, yeah. Salt, baking powder, vanilla, flour, sugar, cinnamon. Okay, so basically they're pumpkin donuts that are rolled in cinnamon sugar after you finish baking them. And um, yeah, that sounds freaking amazing. I love to make treats that pair well with coffee so like after dinner like an hour or so after dinner you have a donut with some coffee I don't know like that's just my my wind down time my mom and I have talked about this before where she's like I love the idea of coming home having a glass of wine watching like a couple tv shows and stuff like that and I'm like I do the same but wine makes me tired so I realized that I do it with coffee although coffee does make me tired sometimes as well I just like the taste of coffee so much I don't care if it's decaf or not I just really like the taste and the smell oh mm. so anyways that's what we're doing candles gotta find a baking tin for the donuts and i think that's all that we're going out for i do have therapy today at two which i mean it's my birthday eve so you know the best birthday present to yourself is mental health so that's what i'm doing and then after that i guess we're gonna bake this stuff but on the drive to and from therapy i'm going to be listening to first grave on the right still Let's see how far into this I am because I was hoping that this would be something I could finish today. I'm going to try to finish it while I'm baking and doing all that stuff because I only have two hours left in it. So I'm about 36% in, so Libro says. And yeah, I haven't read any more of it since I spoke to y'all last yesterday, but I did read more of Final Girl Support Group and I'm about 65-ish percent through that, I have to say. I have hit quite the lull in this book. I'm still liking it, 
but it's just I think at a slow point but now like it was at a slow point from probably 40 to 60 and it was just kind of like mm, like it felt like something was gonna happen and then it fell back and then went forward and then fell back but now it's starting to build up more momentum to I think probably like big fight scene or something I don't know I have no idea who's behind all of this so that's fun I'm still very much confused very much guessing at who this person is doing all this but uh yeah aside from that don't really have a whole lot to uh update you on so we are just going to go get our day started in the world <sighs> because why not why not really mayhaps we'll even get a coffee because birthday eve come on now duh Okay, we are back at the home. Say hello. They cannot see that hand. Hello. <laughs> we are going to bake the donuts. <coughs> Thank you. Let us go.
Okay, hi guys. So I have read a little bit more of First Grave on the right. We just got done baking the pumpkin. They're cinnamon sugar pumpkin donuts. And honestly, they're pretty freaking good. So I have an hour and 35 minutes left of this book. I'm at 49%, which is all right. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. I feel kind of bad because I feel like this vlog is going to be a very short daily vlog and I'm sorry for that. I've been trying to make them longer. I've been trying to have more going on in them but because you know I had therapy today just kind of drained feeling kind of bleh. I'm just kind of tired, so I think what I'm actually going to do is cut it here. I'm probably going to edit it now, get it all up, and go to bed early, actually, because my mom and I tomorrow are going to go to see the newest Purge, which looks absolutely ridiculous, and I am completely excited to see that. And then I think I, I don't really know what we're going to do tomorrow night, but yeah, I just, I just know tomorrow is going to be... A nice chill day because it's my birthday and I don't do a lot but I'm gonna do a giveaway in this vlog to make up for it being so short I wanted to give away one of my most recent favorite thrillers that I've read this is definitely gonna be in my top five to ten depending if I read a lot of thrillers this year for the year like a year of thrillers this will be in the top five to ten because it was just it was just so good it was so atmospheric so creepy the dark academia was perfectly incorporated. It wasn't overpowering, but it was it really contributed in a in a good way to the overall setting of the book. So I wanted to give away because I have a second copy of it. I wanted to give away this copy of The Maidens. It is the book of the month edition. I wanted to give it away because the regular edition doesn't have like anything special on it. It actually has really rough pages and it's a little bit damaged. So I didn't want to give away that one because it's damaged and I read that one. I did not read this one. This one is perfectly pristine. I took it out of the box to do the b-roll for the TBR where this was featured and then that's it. So it's perfectly clean but it also I hope it is focusing on it. It has that shininess. Let's see if we can make it focus on it. Yeah so it has that and then it has it on the spine as well and it's just very pretty. So to do the giveaway. Ooh, Hello. <laughs> to do the giveaway for this one, I'm just going to say comment. Oh, do you see? I'm missing a nail. Michael left. He's here still. I'm not flipping you off, just showing you. But he popped off of this one in Target. It's okay. I get overwhelmed in Target too, Michael. But to enter this, I'm just going to say comment down below your favorite memory so far from Summerween because I am just having a really good time and it's making me emotional because it's just like so many people want to participate this is crazy and I feel like I'm talking to so many people I'm getting tagged in so many things which is so awesome kind of overwhelming which is why I'm a little slow to replying to comments and replying on Instagram but I'm still making my way through them and I have been making my way through the comments from yesterday's video so I'll talk about that in a second but I'm just having a great time and you guys are awesome and yeah I want to give back 
a little something something um i may be giving away some more book of the month books coming soon because i need to clear out some of those living room shelves because apparently we need to have other room for other things i don't even know what that's about but we'll see you'll see them in the on haul if it happens because i've read a lot of those thrillers and i just don't need to hold on to all of them i want other people to read them because they're fun but this is what i'm giving away for this vlog so if you'd like to enter just comment down below so the I'm trying to think of how I can make it easy for me to like sort through them because I'm gonna use a randomizer for it and so you just put in the link for the video to the website and it pulls all the comments so if you don't want to enter because it is gonna be US only I'm really sorry that's just what I have to do for right now hopefully in the future I can do some international giveaways um I probably will end up doing an international giveaway through book depository at some point soon but for right now I'm just gonna do this one domestic so I guess if you don't want to enter the same emojis apply for pumpkin or the ghost emoji and then if you do want to enter just put like giveaway entry or you can just put like favorite memory as long as you have the word memory in the comment I will be able to find it and what I will do so I set this up so that it doesn't because I want to get this shipped out by the end of the week. So if you are selected, I will choose it, not tomorrow, but this like 9 a.m. on the 7th. And then, God, this lighting looks awful with the sun. But I will choose it on the 7th, like I said, and I will comment on that comment. And if you are the one, then um, you have 24 hours to reply to it with an Instagram or an email so that I can email you. And if you don't, then I will just move on to another winner. I need to do it in that way just to like get it out because I want to get it shipped out and I'm about to be in a ridiculously super busy time of year with school starting at the end of this month. So I just want to make sure I get it on time sent out so that you can read this beautiful book because it is such a good book for the fall. I am excited for whoever reads this, whoever's already read it. Like, it was such a great time. I really loved it. But anyways, what I wanted to comment on about First Grave on the Right. So, First Grave on the Right, I know it's not a cozy mystery, but to me, it has the cozy feeling. And I, listen, I know that the genre has, like, super specific things or whatever that go with it, but I'm going with whatever it is in my head to be honest with you and so it is not a cozy mystery in the sense of like there's no explicit content there is obviously I talked about it yesterday I think of true blood as a cozy mystery in some way because I know that it's for first and foremost more of a paranormal book and then apparently there's a lot of romance in it I know I have saw it compared to true blood a lot when I did look it up later last night and so to me I treat True Blood like a cozy because it's very cozy to me and I really like it a lot. So I just wanted to clarify, this is not a cozy mystery in the sense of like murder she wrote. I love that show. I freaking adore that show. I grew up on that show, but it's not like that at all. And I know that I didn't want, I don't want to come off as like, that's what I'm saying because I'm not. It's more in the same vein as True Blood to me and I adore True Blood and I was thinking about starting that series actually so I don't know if I will or not my dad was reading it but my absolute favorite character like bites the dust in the first book and then I'm like well I only stuck around in the show for that character so what would I be doing there who knows anyways I hope that the baking segment was nice enough to make up for the lack of vlogging today again I'm sorry I've been very tired and like ever since I left to go to all the errands and everything I've just been so tired um I think I'm just having a sluggish day in general so I think reading in bed early tonight is definitely gonna be the move and it's gonna make me feel better and hopefully more rested and now my Fitbit isn't working not fun nor fresh anywho <laughs> That sounds like a later me problem. I'm gonna go now so I can get this editing done. And yeah, remember to enter the giveaway if you live in the US and leave a comment with your favorite memory from some marine to do so. If you are not entering, the ghost pumpkin emoji works. And yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderfully spooky morning, afternoon, or night wherever you are. And I will catch you in the comments down below and in our, um, I almost said R, but it's my, like, R next video. I'll see ya. Bye. Last thing.
how cool is this cup that we got? I'm completely obsessed. Like, y'all are gonna see me drinking out of this for the entirety of the year because from here on out, it's Halloween. Woo! 